lot of people raving about J-Mo, Carlton Davis, raising about uh, J-Mo, the corner we got from Tampa. Uh, Dan Campbell raved about him, um, says he's a man on a mission and he looked different. He also uh, uh, basically said that he was immature. He wouldn't listen to nobody. He wanted to do things his way. Um, and now he kind of like falling into line and being and being uniform. So let's talk about Detroit Lions Star playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Now he did have a a tweet uh, or he posted on Instagram about you know people were saying he hoped he okay. He said something to the facts of I forget what he said. I mean it is what it is. A lot of dudes be quoting rap songs. A lot of these dudes be quoting Wide Wave. His wife cheated on him. Whoever she was. She was a rat ball. He used to be wiping and procreating with rat balls. You can tell the way she talks, she's a rat. But, uh, yeah, he be going through stuff. And like I said before, I keep your personal life off the internet. That's what I, that's what I always tell guys. Keep your woman off the internet and keep a lot of your personal dealings off your internet. But hopefully it'll be all right. Life be life and sometimes. But, uh, but yeah, but everybody raving about him. He say looking different. His preparation is different. Um, he said, basically he falling in line and he doing what everybody say, say, you know, he needs to do, he doing it the right way. So, and not his own way. And Carlton Davis said, he got so many tools. He could beat you deep. He could beat you short boss, you know, and he here to help make, you know, Jamison Williams better. He said, he just can do so many different things out there and that, you know, he here to help him get better and, and, and do his thing. And Dan Campbell said, he's a man on a mission and, you know, third year, you start hearing that five-year contract coming up. You start to get eligible for extensions and shit like that. So, yeah, it's time to get to work. I mean, his first year came off a blown ACL. You know, I feel like they should have reassured the year. Good, they didn't. He got suspended for, what, two, three games. They rescinded the suspension from, what, uh, eight to, to two or three games, which was good. Um, but he had to learn a lesson. And then last year, you know, before that, he got hurt in preseason with a hamstring. Then, you know, we knew about the suspension. Then it took him a while to get his feet wet. Then they started going into him. He had a breakout performance in the championship game, you know, and uh, he was the only one catching the ball at the end. So at the end of the day, um, he didn't play a lot of college football. He's behind Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson. Um, it might have been another receiver in Ohio State he was behind. He went to Alabama. He broke out, had one good season in Alabama, got hurt in the uh, national championship playoff game. And then, you know, you hear, you know, so this is a guy who didn't have a ton of reps in college football. So all the reps that he, he could have got at college going to Ohio State, you know, a little bit of the reps that he got at Alabama, you know, it was a phenomenal deal what he did with a little bit of reps he got at Alabama. So a lot of those reps, he missed a lot of reps in training camp his first year, got it injured in the first preseason game, missed reps there. You know, missed reps in the beginning of the last season, so he started to get his feet wet. He started to make an impact, but they had to start to go to him. They saw, you know, you're going to go to your bread and brother running the ball, when red bread and brother, you run the ball and hit the guys in between the numbers and all that stuff. But outside the hashes, you need to make it happen. I feel like they should have went to Josh Reynolds more last year. So they trusted into, you know, Jameson Williams. They said he also trusted into uh, Donovan Peoples Jones, DPJ. They trusted in also uh, Khalif Raymond. They trusted in Antoine Green. So, Jameson Williams is a huge part of that. A huge part of that. So, uh, you know, and just his maturity level, that's what happens. You live, you see what you, you're doing, what you want to do, and it ain't working. What's the other thing you're going to do? Okay, let me listen to what these people say, you know, and see if it works. And it's starting to work. When you play a receiver, it's about being punctual. The great receivers are punctual. You know, the great connections, whether it was Steve Young, Jeff Garcia, and Tara Owens, just saying just the connection they had. Randy, was it, you know, Randall, Randy, Dante Culpepper, Randy, Tom, whether it was Harrison and, and Peyton, don't get no better than that. Peyton and, and Demarius Thomas, rest in power to him. Uh, Peyton and Reggie Wayne, no matter what the connection was, they all had great timing. When I say, you know, you know run five and break in, you got to run five and break in. You got to be where you're supposed to be at. So that's important to run your routes and be where you need to be at. And if you can't be there, then as a quarterback, I can't trust you. Because when I see everything moving fast and I take that three and I look, you're supposed to be there for that slant and you couldn't release off the line. Now I got to go to check, got to check, got to uh, pro progress or check to my high. I could be sacked. 
you know. And as far as the Carlton Davis opinion on it, he's here to make him better. Yeah, what better way to talk to a corner who's guarded Jamar Chase, who's guarded Mike Evans every day, and guys like that, Chris Olave, and those guys, to let them know, like, hey, look here, man, you know, Mike don't do that. Chris don't do that. You lean a little bit this way, or you telegraph your routes this way. Straighten that back leg up. Look, you want to get a better release? This is what I would do. Now that you got top corners, they can spot all that out. Go to the other side, Terry Arno. You can tell him what he's doing wrong. You know? So, that's what is good when you go out there and you're able to trade for a guy that, that been around the veteran because iron shopper and iron. So, I was reading a, an article that came up. We searched the Detroit Lions. It was a, a Vikings uh, publication. The Lions still believe in Jamison Woods. The trail trying to false believe in Jamison Woods. Like, whatever old y'all got going over there in Minnesota? Literally, y'all ain't got nothing going on. Nothing. <laughs> nothing going on whatsoever. You ain't got no running back. Y'all ain't got y'all coach ain't shit. <laughs> Where about what y'all got going on in Minnesota? You got one of the best. You got a Ferrari sitting in the hood, sitting in the ghetto in a garage. Crazy. But, but yeah, man, I, I mean, it is what it is, man. And, um, you know, it's good to see that. Uh, when the pass come on, we'll see. It's a little bit different for linemen and receivers. You know, receivers ain't nothing. You could be just, the only thing you, the only thing you can't do when you 707 in t-shirts and shorts is, you can't run across the middle and get cracked. You know what I'm saying? It ain't crack you like that, but um, but yeah, man, I, I can't wait to you know see what he have in, in store. And also, guys like Antoine Green and some of the other younger receivers, they got you know type, see what type of work they can put in and they can get better at, man. So it's exciting, it's exciting. So if he can make that jump and do be what he supposed to be on the outside, it's probably probably gonna get a little bit more scarier. But as the Lions, don't, don't forget to run the ball. And don't forget about Laporte and St. Brown. But if you're going to have a threat on the outside, the offense becomes, you know, damn near un, un, unbeatable. Only thing they can beat them is injuries or they sell for the refs. But hey, see how Detroit Lions talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Uh, hit the link tree. I said, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo. Peace.